Hey, I'm Blinks, and this is how you jungle with Lifestealer. Lifestealer is a strength-based melee carry. His Q is a buff which gives him magic immunity and increased attack speed. His W is a passive lifesteal. His E is a debuff that slows an enemy unit and gives lifesteal to friendly heroes attacking it. And his ultimate is an AoE infestation that gives lifestealer health if used on a creep. When starting off your jungle, start at the easy camp, and once you kill it at around 55 seconds, leave the camp so the creeps respawn and come back and kill it again. After that, cycle between the easy and medium camps until level 5, at which point you can start tackling the hard camps. Make sure your team gets a courier and buy Gloves of Haste as fast as possible, as they will significantly speed up your jungle. Once you get a Hand of Midas, make sure to use it on the big creeps in the hard camps for maximum experience gain. Use it whenever it's off cooldown, avoid team fights, and continue farming lanes in the jungle until you have an armlet. Once you get the armlet, start participating in team fights, and with a little bit of teamwork, you should be completely dominant. Remember to try to predict when an enemy will use a stun or CC, and use your Q to avoid it. Your Q is essentially a free Black King bar, so make sure you use it wisely. When team fighting, try to fight around creeps, as they can provide you with a quick escape mechanism or health regen if you use your ultimate on one way and get low. Remember that your strength late game is entirely dependent on your jungle farm early game, so make sure you focus on farming and not ganking or team fighting. When leveling Lifestealer, prioritize R over W over Q over E, while putting 1 point into E at level 4. Start off with a Quelling Blade, Stout Shield, and Tangos, and then skip your boots to get a Hand of Midas as fast as possible. After you get your armlet, you should start to dominate teamfights. Use that farm to build a Mjolnir and keep Static Shield on you as much as possible. Endgame options include Heart, AC, Abyssal Blade, Desolator, and Monkey King Bar. Thanks for watching this 60 second guide for Dota 2. You can click any of the video thumbnails to check out our other guides featuring Dota 2 heroes and concepts. Don't forget to subscribe to us here at Pay to Lose Gaming, like the video if you found it helpful, and post a comment below if you have any questions or requests for future guides.